beautiful spot. What a beautiful spot, eh? Yeah, I gotta, I'm just gonna take some pictures of this. Northern Alberta. It's kind of like a little prairie within the boreal forest. Yeah, I mean, it's incredible the way the trees just kind of stop and you have this beautiful prairie. Beautiful little prairie. Eh? And each prairie is a different size. Some are only like 10 acres and some are a couple hundred acres. Hey guys, free range woodland bison. Nice great big bull. Look at the size of that bull. Nice big bosses. He's broomed right off. He's an old bull. His hide is just gorgeous right now. Great shot. George was using a 458 lot with a 500 grain nozzler. One shot. This is the second bison that we've ever shot. It fell over once. Usually they take multiple, multiple shots. The bull's in great shape. Hide is absolutely gorgeous on them. Absolutely gorgeous. You want to lift that head up for me, Nathan? <laughs> God. I don't know. Can we, no, it's we like, might be able to tag team this. Probably not. So. You ready? I don't think so, Nathan. He's pretty. I don't think so. Pretty no big. Way. We're not even. Oh my goodness. Whew. We'll get some help from the back end and we might do her with the quad. <laughs> like I said, I don't think you're gonna. Do... He's the probably wings. the better. He's probably George, the better part of three thousand pounds. I was gonna say trying to roll three thousand pounds is not. When I saw that plains bison of mine that was sixteen hundred, I thought he was gigantic. This guy is just just enormous. Dwarfs eh? him. He absolutely dwarfs him. Anybody looking for a free range woodland bison? This is the place to come. This is the place to come, eh, George? Aside from it being just a beautiful area, what a incredible and plus bison sign all over. We the saw place. lots of bison sign it's here. We, like we see bison sign bison all the time. There. It's just a matter of seeing them. There's, there's so much boreal forest here, and as you saw, George, the bush is so thick. Thick. It's you know you could have bison that's only 40, 50 yards away and not see them by any means. Well, I'm sure there were. Yeah. We were seeing fresh sign. All fresh day. sign all over the place. So. This morning, we just this is just pure luck that he was. And this was a gorgeous stock. We stalked across the little prairie here, about 500 yards. We probably got within about 60 or 70 yards of him. We didn't want to push our luck. It was we had no wind day, basically zero wind. He was feeding away from us, so every time it worked out just great. Now we just got to process him, get them all skinned up, and get them on the quads. That can be a job in itself. I'm gonna have a sandwich first, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because say we cat's gonna be full day. We gotta empty the lunchbox this before we can put that back. This is the difference there. between the king yeah. buffalo, man. Those the, those bushmen, man, they they descend on that thing like like nothing. Like you have to do anything with them. Yeah, pretty cool.